The AU administration and student leaders have begun discussing the possibility of banning smoking on campus. However, many questions remain about if and how this policy would be implemented. The discussions are still in a very pre in a preliminary stage. Uh, the discussions have been ongoing for a while, but until, uh, until we had a, a stronger understanding of what the footprint of the campus is going to look like with the campus plan, uh, the university and the community wanted to wait. Um, so the discussions are really just starting to take, take shape now in a more concrete, uh, more detailed way. Last December, the Student Government and the Graduate Leadership Council sent a survey to students asking about AU smoking policy. The survey showed that about 47% of polled undergraduates support a smoking ban, and about 53% of graduate respondents support a smoking ban. About 700 undergraduates and 900 graduate students completed the survey. The student body is, is really um is split on this issue, as the results of the survey demonstrated. I think it's a little bit uh, too much. A little bit excessive. Excessive, especially because I don't think people will abide to those rules, and how are they going to control it? I don't understand how they will do that. Especially I mean, what's with the policing of it. How would how are they going to police it? What are they going to have public safety out here, left, right, and center? Maybe we can have certain sections. I think there are places where our students congregate where they smoke and it's kind of just like part of our culture now. This is going to sound a little hypocritical because I'm actually a smoker, but I am for the ban because I think it would be great to have a smoke-free campus and it would be like litter-free and for people who don't smoke it would be more respectful to them and it would promote better health on campus. Today, over 550 universities across the country are either entirely smoke-free or have designated smoking areas on campus. AU student Megan Huber has been researching the smoking policies in many of these schools as part of her social action project at the School of Public Affairs. I found a common thread between communication being the key to implementing a successful policy and they've communicated with the student body um, and the staff and given it at least a year or two as far as for the school to get used to the policy. Also a common thread between all the different policies I've seen is immense increases in smoking cessation materials and programs on campus that are either that means free materials to students as far as nicotine replacement or any type of quit program to all staff and faculty and students or reduced costs. Huber notes that because about 35 percent of AU students, faculty and staff smoke, there may initially be strong resistance to the implementation of a smoking ban. For AU I think it's first communication foremost, like first and foremost informing the policy and making sure the students know it's coming because it's something that's going to impact your daily life. If you don't even know it's coming, that's not even, you, you can't compare it. Um, and I think too is phasing it in. So making sure part of the communication is there and then I think trying out designated smoking areas and then moving towards a smoke-free ban. University representatives did not respond to requests for comments, but according to an anonymous student involved in the discussions, Administrators would implement the changes no sooner than fall 2013. Monica Fiddler, ATV News.